What you got for me? Ah, you brought me some good pieces. Last worth a letter, to be sure. Here you go, Captain. Fort doesn't look as abandoned as it should. Looks occupied as can be. I will need something to draw their attention then. Once you lose sight of me, wait for ten minutes, then bombard the fort. I will slip out under cover of the shelling. Aye, aye, sir. Sounds a trifle dangerous, but I'm sure you're up to it. I doubt they let convicted pirates like old Lucky Lem out of his cell much, so if his little scroll is anywhere, it's there. to circle around to avoid the courtyard. Nah, it's probably a gull or a wreck. It's the only intruders we get here anyway. Preposterous. I'm sent me across the ocean to play sentry on some meaningless isle. This is my last tour for a certainty. When I see the captain, I'll look him directly in the eyes and say, Sir, I am going home. I've had enough of these nonsense assignments. attack this fort, I ask you? Nobody. No reason to. They sent us here because the captain did something wrong. Like what? Buggered if I know. I wager he buggered something. Come off it. And keep watch. Yeah, yeah. Double time! We'll get the whip if we're late for the captain's address. I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. You lot complaining of its assignment. The fort is mean. Command is punishing the captain for what happened in Poland. I have had enough! We are here under orders. I need not remind you to hold Fort Walcott against the rebels at all costs. And that is all that need concern you. 
You are not trained to comment on strategy, nor are you aware of rebel movements. So put a stop to it. The next man I hear questioning the validity of our posts will receive ten lashes and seven days in the old dungeon without rations. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Check the dirt sheet for duties and details for the coming week. B Company will be in drills and without rum rations until they properly execute formations two and three. Such sloppy marching will not be tolerated. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That lurcher is out of his head. Who would do that to a man? That's why you don't let soldiers get bored. Jack and I deserved everything he got. We won't tolerate such behavior. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. He didn't mean anything by what he said. You get his I just don't think it's right. lies under the eagle's bed. Let's see what you got, rebel! You're late, Captain. Those occupying the fort were less than thrilled by my presence. And? And what? The damn scroll, you muckworm. Was it there? That it was, Mr. Faulkner.
Thank God you are here. Prudence is missing. She went out to gather some things this morning and never returned. I'm worried sick. What if she's hurt? I will find her. The dog might help track her down. He has a good nose. Come on, boy! She has been gathering the evening primrose almost every night. She is obsessed with the oil it yields. That is all going to stop now. I don't understand why she wants so damn much of the stuff. Some here. She can't be far. We should split up to cover more ground. Prudence! Where are you? Thank you so much, Connor. Thank you. I don't want to think what might have happened if you had not arrived. I saw some primrose growing there, and the bear just came charging at me. Why are you gathering primrose? Well, Warren and I have been trying to conceive a child for a long time now. I read that evening primrose encourages fertility. I'm sorry, this is not a proper conversation given the circumstance. I understand. Not another word on the matter. Prudence! Are you all right, my love? I'll be fine. Thanks to Connor. Thank you, Connor. Once again. Hello, Connor. Hello. Is something the matter? No, nothing that need worry you. I would not pry, but please know that if there was anything I could do to help, I would. It's all right. Connor already knows half of it. As you know, we've been trying to have a child, Connor, for a long time. Thus far, we have not been blessed even once. It takes its toll after a time. You must not force such things. Nature will grant you with the young one when the time is right. We hope you're right, Connor. At the very least, we are at peace here.
Can you make a little more noise? Been fixing to trap a cougar I've seen prowling about. The beast has snapped two of my snares already. From what I've seen, its fur is white, mad as it sounds. Its hide would be worth a fortune to the right person. I have never seen a cougar like that. I would like to help you. I'll follow you then. Stay quiet. yet. Look at the size of those claw marks. Better shoot true. for fresh meat. Seen this before. Looks fresh. He's close. There he goes! We won't get another chance at this. Come on, Connor. We won't see him again after this. This is our only shot. Hurry up! You must be here for my new friend. I was dumping a load and he went straight in. Lucky I wasn't in there. Very. What are you thinking, Miriam? Flush and fire. Norris can back off. One of us goes in there to draw him out and the other waits out here to shoot. I will go in. Nice shot! Thank you, Miriam. Find them. I will handle it. Stop!
can go home if you want. Something's amiss! <sighs> What's the trouble, Connor? So you'd hear past chasing a man. He was trying to rob your home. It has been dealt with. What? Oh, the women! Is everyone all right? You should have been there. What? I told you to head back. I didn't I need to. Since when is a skinny runt like you safe out in the bush alone? If Diana's hurt, I swear you'll be the one paying. Yama. Master Connor! Master Connor! Dad and Godfrey are fighting! You need to stop it! This on me. I told you we didn't need to be cutting that day. So shut your mouth. Leave it alone, Godfrey. You need some sense knocked into you. I'm gonna beat you senseless. You need some sense knocked into you. You need some sense knocked into you. Come. I'm gonna. Gonna beat you senseless. I'll flatten you. I'm gonna smash you, you looby. <laughs> Only way to shut you up.
You all right? There's no need for this. Yeah. He's a blockhead. Don't kill off in a spell. Just need some time is all. Not angry, Godfrey? Me? <laughs> Not at all. Terry's just got himself a temper, and I won't let him get away with it. It's really no trouble. He'll calm down. The runt couldn't do much damage anyway. Does this happen often? Ha! Ah, I was just telling Lance how I can set the calendar by these events. It's really not a worry, Connor. But I appreciate your concern. day.
from the blue dancer.
Calma.
Calma. Calma.
Calma. Calma. Another hunter came through a few days ago, telling a story I've heard before. Fifteen-point buck that's impervious to musket shot. They hit him every time, but every time the big fella just gets right back up. I reckon a blade to his throat would do the job, but he's hard to get close to.
Ja, Oma. Ja, Oma. Here for a scr- Come on! Swing at me some more! Come on! Swing at me some more! You gotta hit me! Right on my arse!
got some more? Let's have a look then. More keepers. Good on ya. I'd say that's worth another letter. Thank <laughs> you. 